Hi, 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 hi. Hello, everyone. Welcome again to Justice Reads. And on today's episode, we are talking about a book by a young lady titled Fueling Futures by Tepiso Pulser. You know, uh, what is it to fuel? What is fuel? To fuel means to boost, to energize, or to give power. Uh, to sustain so when you're talking about fueling futures we're basically talking about giving power to your future energizing your future boosting your future ensuring that your future is sustained so that's basically uh fueling future by tepi soposa and timothy morris morris webster so it's more of a biography a story about a young lady who is charting her own cause building her own legacy outside that name of of the family because she was born into one powerful family uh the father was involved in the struggle and uh instrumental in the drafting of the south african constitution but she is on a journey of building her own legacy she has already done a lot so it just actually reminds me of that book that we read uh, a few weeks ago by Howard Mutanga that was talking about the fact that it doesn't matter whether you were born with a silver spoon in your own mouth or you were born from one very poor family. It doesn't matter really. You can still build your own name outside anyone, outside your family name, outside whatever could have been laid uh, uh, on the plate already, you know. And um, the book actually aims at uh, causing you to delve deep into yourself, into those depth, the realms of self-reflection where you delve deep into your inner self, discover that inner person and actually draw out a lot of wisdom, a lot of ideas, a lot of uh, facts that can actually help you to fuel your own future. So it actually is going to remind, uh, remind me of this, uh, the last week book where we are talking about the fact that life is nothing more than just a journey back to your own self you know back to your original self back to that person that you were before the world took over or the environment the society clouded you with their own ideas with their own thoughts with their own mind but you're going back to that person so that you can become that person that you that you were always in the beginning you know so just a few lessons that i've learned from the from this book as she narrated her, uh, her her life journey from the time that she was born until now she's a successful businesswoman and a leader in the business world you know um number one she spoke about the fact that your heritage your family where you came from the the history of your family can actually provide some pointers can actually provide some ideas can actually provide some wisdom of um where you're going or how you're supposed to turn out the struggles that she, your forefathers had to overcome you know can actually show you the kind of things that you can actually uh, overcome as an individual she spoke about the fact that the father was in exile the mother was in prison at some point and th through that she learned resilience she learned the fact that she can conquer anything which is actually one of the things that has helped her fuel her future to become the person that she is right now so it's important sometimes you can go back and find learn about your heritage learn about your your past about your family history what are the things that they encountered how did they end up in the place where they are what are those things that they conquered to become to to, to remain at the place where they are right now it can actually provide uh, pointers and um, number two, what I actually learned as well is that the importance of family. She explained the fact that no matter how busy they are, most of their family members, they stay in different uh, cities. So it doesn't matter. It could be in different countries or in different continents. Always find time. Always find time to connect to your family members because they provide that base. They provide that foundation of, um, of a fuel that you cannot get anywhere. A family normally provides that it's people normally call it unconditional love. 
it provides that kind of love and support that you hardly get anywhere, you know. So you need to find time for your friend, for your family. You need to find time to spend quality time with your family and your friend. Find that time, you know, no matter how busy you are, always create that time. It's important for the fueling of your future because they are the support structure that is, they are like the foundation of the great structure that you will become because the, you were born into that place. The, it was it was a gift. You, you didn't really have to choose your family. It was provided for you or to you uh, by the universe or by God. You were born into that place. So it which means it has a significance in your life. So always find time. It's the same goes as well, she explained to friends. Always find time to spend quality time with your friends, you know. It helps you build. It helps you boost your, your own future. It's a place of, or, or, of refreshing. It's a place of refueling uh, um, your own life. And um, he, she's, she said as well, Appreciate the little things. Always find time to do the little things and appreciate the little things that other people do for you. If it's a, it could actually be a compliment. Complimenting your friend, complimenting your colleague, your dress looks very nice. Oh, you're very beautiful. Oh, thank you so much for one, two, three, four, five. Those little things matters in life, you know. They, they they provide that fuel. They open doors for more. It's like gratitude is is very important. Basically, she's trying to explain the importance of gratitude, you know, the power of gratitude. Be grateful for the little, even for the least things that are done to you and always create opportunities to also do little things for people that they might not even pay you back you know it actually create a great environment for a greater future for yourself and he said don't lie to yourself you know he said a lot of people lie to themselves more than they lie to any other people sometimes you know that this thing is not really working but you keep on pushing you keep on praying you know very well you know but because of self-reflection as you were talking about you, you should actually be able to sit back you know and analyze the situation analyze a project analyze a relationship analyze a circumstance you know to see how you can make it better because something could not be working but all you need is an idea to adjust it or to make it work better you know so don't lie to yourself and just keep on going blindly no sit down and ask yourself important questions is it worth it how can i do it better you know don't lie to yourself you know that, that thing can actually be better if you sit down and tell yourself the truth you know so don't lie to yourself and um he said, she said, at times you have to be your own fuel, you know, at times you have to be your own, be your own pump, be your own fuel. It reminds me of one of my favorite story. Uh, I think it's actually one of my sisters. It's uh, the story of David, you know, when it, uh, the Bible says David encourages, encouraged himself in the Lord, his God, you know. He was not waiting for some motivational speaker to come out from some other place. He was not waiting for some prophet to come and give him a word from God. He was not waiting for some soldier, for some uh, head of the military or his family member or wife or whoever, a son or whoever. No, he was not waiting for anyone. He took it upon himself to encourage himself, you know, to stand strong in himself. So you could, you could be having a dream, right? You could be having a plan, right? And everything and anything seems like it's just coming against you or it doesn't look like it's going to work because of the adversary of the, the circumstances that are against whatever idea, whatever it is that you're going through at that moment, you know? And it takes you, really. You are the common denominator. You, you are the most important ingredient in this puzzle of success. You are the most important uh, uh, person in this equation of success. So you need to be able to encourage yourself, you know. Don't wait until your friend calls you to give you a word of encouragement. No, 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 no. Don't wait until you go to church on a Sunday to get some encouragement. No ways. Don't wait until you go to YouTube or Facebook to get 
some word from one motivational speaker. No, 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 no. Encourage yourself. Tell yourself that you are able. Tell yourself that you are worth. Tell yourself that you can. Tell yourself that no, you're going to do it and you will do it and you will succeed and you you will you will be prosperous in whatever endeavor it is that uh, 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 you have laid before yourself, you know, because yes, you can, you can, and learn to encourage yourself. You don't even need a second person or a person outside to tell you that you can, yes, you can, yes, you will, you know, and uh, lastly, what the few, the last two points that I also learned from the book is the fact that uh, we all make mistakes, you know, it's just part of the journey, it's what makes the journey worthwhile, we make mistakes, you learn from them, but you don't keep on crying, you don't keep on beating yourself because of the mistake that you have made, you know, you dust yourself, you wash your face, you clean yourself, and you continue moving, you tie your shoelaces, and you continue moving, that's just how life is, you don't want to know everything on the word go, some things you learn through experience, you know, so you, if you fail at some things, you make a mistake, you make a blunder, ha, it's fine, it's, it's, it's all right, it's okay. Like, it's okay to fail at some other things as long as you, you don't stop there. You keep on doing it until you get it right, you know. It's all right, it's okay, you know. Don't beat yourself of it. Get over yourself. You have failed at one thing. You have made a mistake. Get over yourself. Move on. You know, we all fail. It's part of the process. You know, at the end of it, you are meant to be a winner. That's what matters. So what happens in the process doesn't matter. The mistake that you make during the process is, is, is of no significance really. So, hey, you make mistake. Get over yourself and move on. And he spoke, spoke about the importance of loving yourself, you know. He said, oh, wow, I love this. You know, I love talking about love. You know, that's like the last point that I'm going to take from this point. He said, it's important that you love yourself. Love yourself first before anyone can love you. Before you can attract the right kind of love around you, you need to be able to see, you, to see your own value. You need to be able to tell yourself that you are valuable, you are worth you know, you need, if you don't love yourself, you're going to attract people that don't really love you either, you know. No one is going to love you unless you love yourself, you know. It's only God who loved us before we could love anything or we could love, but that's it. You should learn to love yourself, you know. You are, don't wait for someone to compliment you, to tell you that they love you. Love yourself first. It's only when you love yourself that you're going to be able to show love to someone else. It's only when you love yourself that you will be able to love the next person, to love the world, to love the sinners, to love the soul, to love your company, to love everything that is around you. You create an environment of love first by loving your own self. So yeah, that was Fueling Futures by Tepiso Poster. So thank you so much for watching and i hope i see you next time remember remember to like subscribe and comment on the section below what you've learned and whatever you'd like to see on the next episode thank you so much and i love you and appreciate you have a great day further bye